by Triceratops bird fans. Today we're going to create this book. Morales, but I'm not trying to copycat you by using your book in my video. Honestly, I said not take a criticism of that because honestly, so many other people do create this book that on their YouTube channel that I don't need to do that. But this in case, right? Yeah. The pace. So don't you remember the red panda pace? Where is it? So right here. I drew a red panda. And I made the pace since I didn't have it. But wait a minute. But I didn't realize on one to two hundred pages. There was a never draw before pays. So I'm going to do that one today. Yep. So good luck. Also, I have a, another idea for another pays. This I'm super psyched for, so I'll put bookmarks into both of these pages. So these would be might be the two pages I do. Then we might have another very good letter. Thanks. So I'm gonna get started drawing soon. I don't know what I'm drawing. The drawing is a man with a nerd room before, so let's go try to guess. Drawing big eye. And we're drawing the little body. We're drawing like little feet, little ears, a little smile. And there like the creasers with the snow thing. Let me find the name of them. They had the spots like the baby ones. I don't know the name of this guy. So I said, he like the nose thing. <laughs> he has a weird nose like anteater. And he's pretty cute. Now this next creaser, let me give you one. I don't even know if this creaser is real. I saw like somewhere on the like, I'm like something from school and I don't know if it's real or not. I don't even know it's real. It's this worm, what's it called? It? It's the Mabel creaser, it's the Mabel creaser, okay? So if you want to guess what else those things I've never drawn before, never drew like a white worm that looks like that. Never drew that creature because I never doesn't even know his name. Some creatures are pretty surprised that I never drew before. Let me tell you that. Now we're gonna draw grass. What's why am what am I doing around here? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing a rock. A rocky, rocky, rock. And drawing a rock with moss on it. So I don't do that often. Now I'm doing an animal which you guys might recognize. Honestly, I don't know why I never drew it. It's like our state thing. Because I live, um, I mean, I think I done it. This is like our state country thing. Like, an eagle. It's an eagle. So, if I stay comes with eagle, I never drew eagle. I just never drew it. So, yeah, I drew an eagle. Even though it doesn't really look like eagle. It does not really look like eagle. Now I'm drawing the sun. The sun and the clouds. Super. <laughs> I need to get my hair in, out of the view. I don't know why. What am I doing to this pencil? We are drawing a turkey? Oh, yeah, I have to check before. We're definitely have drawn this before. I'm drawing some kind of bird. It's some kind of parrot bird. I saw the zoo. I didn't know what exactly it looked like, so I guess my imagination. But I never really draw my bird before, so this still counts. And now, here's a surprising one to me. You guys might not know this, but I like two cans. And when I'm like, discovered, like, oh, I never drew a two can. I was pretty surprised at that. So I'm drawing a toucan. The guys with a very big beak, like the long beak. And I'm drawing the black body. It's gonna have a black body because that's what toucans have. They have a very colorful beak and they have a black body. It might be gray some part, so. And there we the eye. Then we got another animal. Now, this one, I had to cut out some scenes because I had to give, grab a reference from a video for this one. 
and this one's called a pie martin. You might have heard it if you play a donkey before, but if you don't know what it looks like in real life. It, <laughs> you can see a hint of it right there. That kind of what it looks like. <laughs> so it looks like a cute little baby fox. Like it looks super cute. It looks adorable. Like it looks pretty. What am I doing? Looks like pretty adorable. Looks super adorable and looks super cute. And we drew a pie, Martin. Uh, okay. A pie, Martin. They're creatures in the Doppy. And they're super cute. I first found them out Doppy. They're not really creatures made from a Doppy, but they're pretty cute. And some people do say it's a mix between a squirrel and a dog. So don't, 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 don't. don't as you say, when you say it that way, you're not. But some people in Adopt Me have said that. Not me. <laughs> so Pie Martin's and they're pretty cute. And I tried to draw one. It has like a piggy nose. Not piggy nose. Pig nose with a fox ear. And like a little tail. It's pretty cute. What am Stop doing this. <laughs> okay, you guys probably have no idea what Pie Martin is. Don't think of Dobby as a pet because it's actually very violent and kind of aggressive. Not violent, but aggressive. So don't do it. So now I'm racing some of the clouds. I thought I had too many clouds. I know what I was doing with the, the hair <laughs> in the video, but I should avoid that next time. I'm still going to the clouds. Well, I do put some other things that are kind of like clouds, but I'm not going to tell you. What is going on with the stuff? What is stopping? What is stopping? Did I pause it? No, it's still fine. Oh, I got a blanket. Okay, that makes sense. Now, I think I'm looking up a picture. Oh yeah, I'm looking up an armadillo, because I'm drawing an armadillo. For some reason, I don't know what armadillo looks like. Not armadillo, no. A hedgehog. A hedgehog. And not on the dill. I was looking at a picture of a hedgehog, and now my hedgehog looks like. Now, here is the armadillo. This armadillo kind of looks like an ant here mixed with a goat. But it's an armadillo. Okay. I have to race it sometimes. It makes the tail look natural and looks like it connected the body. So, yeah. This took a very long time. Just because of the tail. I'm drawing those lines like armadillos have on their little skin. Then I find out they have like this little skin thing on the tail. Now I'm drawing another log thing. Log is what's coming out everywhere. I think there's a tree behind it. So yeah. And now I'm drawing another creature. That, um, oh yeah. I remember this one. So basically it has like these spikes. It's similar to like, okay, you guys already know. It's a porcupine. Do not touch one. That, that's just for getting the spikes on. But do not touch one. Why? Because if it's really pokey, like cactuses. So if you ever touch a cactus before, it's probably going to feel like that. But yeah, I've not ever touched a cactus before, but it will hurt pretty bad. Do not touch a porcupine. Do not touch it at all. That's going to hurt you super bad. Do not touch a porcupine. Porcupine. So we got porcupine hedgehog. Also, they kind of map. I like those points to the same guy. Now we got a character a animal that you guys probably know. It's black and white, and that's all I'll give you. Now I'm drawing like kind of like this squirrel is say because it kind of is. But the thing is, this creature is black and white. But you don't want to get close to it unless you like bad smells. You can't already know what this is. <laughs> it's a skunk. Skunk? At self events, they release bad smells to protect themselves. So I'll say not very close one. Now I'm drawing grass. Grassy, grassy grass. If you want to learn facts about animals, come to Try to Share the Bird video and you learn some facts about the videos. I'm telling you some truths, but. I'm not telling you all kinds of facts. 
Now I'm thinking what I could draw next. And I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. And I thought of something. Only time I ever see the dog me, but it looks different than dog me. Now I'm searching up what the thing I wanted looks like. So yeah, I wanted to search up. I'm drawing really, really close. I'm drawing that eye. That eye. And then I'm drawing like a little feet. Little, little feet. I'm sorry for this. I'm not trying to do this. Little, little feet. A little, little feet. And I'm... I'm just looking up, looking up, looking up, looking up on um, what this creature looks like. We're going to do the ears, the little hairs, I'm starting to dog me, and a, little, yeah, and a little mouth. It's a hyena. I know the story why I never drew a hyena. I used to watch The Lion King, yeah, for those of you who maybe don't watch it, but I used to watch that over and over and over again as someone's like house. Don't mind my face. Her eye did not like the hyenas, so I never drew them before. That's the reason why I never drew hyenas. His name is Blocky from the... His name is actually a copy from the dog me. Not, not, not a copy, but it's actually the copy of my name. I named my hyena the dog me. Dog me, don't get mad at me. <laughs> now I'm drawing a different guy. This is similar to one of the toys I have, which I'm not gonna... Leak because you guys probably don't know this guy. Or you do. I was actually grabbing my toy for this one. It has these big ears. And let me tell you, it's a new African animal. It has African in the name and it has dog. It's an African dog. So basically, I used my toy that was an African dog. I'm not going to say his name or anything. And I was doing copy to make his. To make the little African dog. Let's name him Fern. Fern is the drawn African dog. Definitely not the toy African dog as well. I definitely did not copy it. I'm just copying the African dog and what he looks like. And I'm gonna put this African dog on another log. I was really focusing on him. We're gonna put it on another log. Another log. Another log. And now we're going to color them. We're gonna spin out the clouds back, and then we're gonna add a lot of stars. A wait, no, you guys understand? Then we're gonna add a ton of these cloud stars. So cloud stars. We add a moon first. So I want to do like the moon and day thing, but I didn't really want it to be nighttime. So add the stars, but they're cloud stars. So I still like the same background. I know that might make no sense. What? How in the world could they be stars in the daytime? Well, they're cloud stars. You know when you see pictures in the clouds and you see like different things? That basically what you're seeing here. All these clouds look like stars all around us, so I'm drawing a ton of stars. I do erase some of them. I don't think they actually that. I really like stars in the air. I do erase some of them. I did erase that one. I remember that one. Erase. Okay, now we're drawing. We're taking pictures of sketch. Okay, sketch in process. Sketch in process. Okay. We're, oh, so I just apparently keep calling and did notice it ran out. Ran out of batteries. So you guys saw me color these. I color also the eagle and the hyena. Which is a little mouth, his little hair, and I started coloring the sun. And now we're gonna color the sun, the things in the background. Good, I caught that before it was too late. Also, now we're going to go and color all that. We did explain we missed some of the coloring, which is fine. You guys might be annoyed with it, but at least you get to see it. So yeah. So basically now we're coming back home. So I speed us up pretty quickly. So we got color hyena, which I. Do black and white color black and white, reference to the Lion King. And now you can search all these colors out for Pie Martin, a Pie Martin. So this Pie Martin is a little Pie Martin, little Pie Martin, little Pie Martin. They're super cute and they're like round. What am I doing over there? I might be like going off my reference. 
because I was not supposed to take the gamble. So I never drew it before. I was just like coffee enough to get the general idea, but not coffee enough completely, because you know what? That's not really what a pie margarine looks like. Okay, but that is how pie margarine looks like my drawing. I think that'll be good. Take it down as well. Now I'll color that here, and we're coloring the grass. We're coloring the grass, and what we're gonna go next? The rock. We're just gonna make it gray because. After ever done with looking like in the desert, we're gonna color like this. Now this might get controversial with the gray and orange, but I actually really like this armadillo in the end. It's kind of like orange because I was trying to copy off the picture I saw. So yep, that's where all the mistakes and things happen. All the mistakes and things. Now I. I kind of want to watch this more, but we're stopping, and we're gonna pause. We're stopping right here, and we're gonna learn something on the facts. So I mean, devils actually can roll into that, like the little thing, like the little thing, kind of like what Tug Tug does. <laughs> we call on the African dog, the African dog. An African dog is black, orange, and white, and I really like African dogs. I did not find them out. Um, like I saw, I there, I was not surprised. I didn't never drew them because they're kind of new to me. I was surprised I never draw a zero, a skunk, a hedgehog, a porcupine, a toucan. Those are the animals that I'm not surprised. I was not surprised that I didn't draw the weird nose guy or the pie market. I just covered out like two or three months ago or a month ago. So yeah. Now that does really actually look like an African dog. That looks like a baby African dog. Oh, it's so cute. A baby African dog. Now we're going to go and color the branch he's on. Wait, no. He, yeah. I'm gonna color the branch he's on. I really like how that's like that. I really like how the tiny one came out. He's kind of like crazy. He's too crazy for that bone. Because that is like bones. They're apparently from the Lion King movie. And we're coloring the rug that way because that's what I think the inside of a log looks like. And those are the colors I have really for it. Now that log looks like it got like some red paint on it and people blended in with some brown paint also and now we're coloring the skunk which is a little gray because of the eye but honestly i try to make it more black and we're gonna go and color everything else to match our little skunk and what am i doing here maybe i'm trying to go and look for different references but found the colors for the skunk and now we're going to color that bird blue. I thought we were going to color the back and I'm like, uh oh, speed this here fast because now everyone doesn't want to see me color background for 20 minutes. Yeah, that'd be boring. Then we're going to color here red. It's a pretty cool little bird. It actually might be a bird. I don't think it's exact copy of the picture I took, but it's at least a type of bird. I think it might be out there. It does not assist my own combination of bird. This is fine with me because I didn't really want to draw that combination bird. Now, here's a toucan. Most toucans have like this red spot. Those red spikes are just something I like to add in animals. <laughs> now, I'm going to color it black. You see, I'm coloring a little lighter because of the wings and all the other stuff. Now, it's not smiling because it's just the beak of the mouth. Well, that's what toucans look like. So, we got the little beak. And now, we're going to color the toucan beak red -o. But that's not all I add to the toucan. I add like this green, because these toucans really have like green at the bottom. And then I'm like getting a reference for the toucan. But I know what toucans look like, so. Oh, maybe I was getting for the color they have. So apparently I saw blue, or I'm just making this up. I maybe made up the blue color. I maybe made the orange color. But it looks like a toucan beak, and I actually really like it. Now we're calling the branches they're on. 
The little cute princes are on. I think the first time I actually knew about Chu Chen, I don't even know how I knew about Chu Chen. Uh, I don't even remember how I found out about Chu Chen. Uh, did I see in the movie? Did I see at the zoo? I have no complete idea. I have no idea. How did I find Chu Chen for real? I have no idea. No. I have no idea now. I'm coloring the moon that's in the daytime, which makes no sense. There was another thing that made no sense. Oh, so. Oh my goodness, I'm losing. Okay, we're coming to the background. The background is super quick. Do you see how quick this is? Pretty, pretty quick, I'll say. 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 If I just zoom, how does this video be three hours long? Do you want a three hour long video of me drawing animals? No. So here's a picture of color that looks super cool. And here's the tree I was talking about. That makes it make more sense. So those are all the animals. Hope you guys enjoy all my new animals. So make sure to give a like and subscribe. Thanks for ringing the bell. Bye, the fans. Hope you guys enjoy me drawing animals I never drew before. And some of my fun facts about them.